He's Brian. All right. We're good. <laughs> That's the intro. That's the intro right there. Welcome to this episode of Power of Bourbon. And this is Brian, that's Chuck, that's TJ. If you watch the channel, you know who we are. If you haven't, this is a weird intro. So tonight we're playing a game. And tonight's game, I'm in charge of, which is beautiful. This has gotten very weird, very quick. For him, (laughs) only him. So the game is Proof It. Ooh. So okay. I've handled these gentlemen. I, I, I've sent. You've handled these some, gentlemen. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sounds so, like a confession. <laughs> so first he's in charge. Oh, now he's handled us. I am not comfortable with this conversation <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I can't. You know what I say to those claims? <laughs> Proof it. Proof it. <laughs> so I have uh, sent these gentlemen via some means or another. Uh, three different spirits of varying age and varying proofs for them to try and see what they think. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. So if you've watched the channel for any period of time, you know that that's a very scary thing because Brian likes to send the most <laughs> random stuff. He sent benchmark. He sent granny panties. Uh, <laughs> He, I mean, it's just crazy the stuff he finds. So we will see. Starting with oil fire, oil oh, fire. Oh, yeah, I can't forget about the oil fire. You know, but American then, honey. But then I, American <laughs> honey started the night with American honey. Just kill our palates for the rest. Yeah, of I did. Stuff. Blew the palates. All right. So yeah, the first dude. one, a little weak on the nose. I get just honey and ethanol. Yeah, yeah. I get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of burn, but it's like faint. It's like a whisper in the wind. Yeah, I, I, that's an pretty yeah. forward. No, maybe I poured the wrong. I, I feel like I'm getting a, a fairly decent amount of both, probably like 70 30 sweet to ethanol. I feel that's fair, but it's like a I mean, I, I say a little bit of honey, but it's almost just like a just a pure sugar, just, yeah, a, just maybe a little just like wait. a touch of caramelize. Take a sip and then tell me what you think again. <laughs> TJ, you always take it, and then it's like I, I wait for your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> If you've ever had like true sweet tea from the South where it's like grainy because there's so much sugar in there, welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It, 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 it gets you going, don't it? It is just a lot of it. You yeah, feel I'll, it up in here. Liquid, mm. su- liquid sugar and oh. ethanol. That is all that is. I mean, I don't hate it. I feel like, yeah, like liquid sugar and ethanol is exactly what this is. I tried it and I was kind of like, I actually, it took me a moment. I'm like, do I like this? No, it, this I, I like get this? a little bit of orange peel back there as well in the palate. Yes, a little bit of fruit with that sugar. If I took a McDonald's sweet tea and then just poured a liter of Everclear into it, this, I've, I've, this is what it is. It is McDonald's that. sweet tea. With I think people do that. I think this is better than that. But yeah, I think it's uh, sweet orange peel, and then you get this ethanol spice at the back, at the back end. Did he explain the rules of the game to you? Because I didn't get the rules. Of the there, game. there, no, there really no okay. no rules. Yeah. Uh, give your thoughts and then prove it. Guess the proof. I'm gonna go one fifteen. Ooh, one fifteen. That ethanol burn spice. I'm taking the over. I'm going 119.5. If this was the price is right. <laughs> well, this, so this was great. There's three rounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we have three bargains. So we can have three potential winners. So, so Chuck can win three times. I like it. <laughs> so Chuck can win three times. And if this is the price is right, Chuck would have won for round one. What is the actual proof? Oh, you don't get that till the end. That'd be giving something away for the big reveal. If this is the price, wait, what was your guess, TJ? It, closest was, without his was one closest without Yours going over. So, so therefore, I without, win. Period. Yeah, but if you go over, 
you are you don't win. lose. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying I'm under, and I'm so yeah. I'm still winning. You're the closest, but under. Yeah. Correct. This got very complicated. Move but it, on to number two. Okay, it's, it's, it's like TJ gets under as well. So I, that's what I'm. But he's closer. About. But he. But you're closer than he is. So like, if it was if it was one twenty and you guessed one. So you're saying I went over. No, no, no. You were under, and closer than I was. So price. Have you is seen right. the price is right? <laughs> I feel like I have. If you, the, I'm curious of why your caveat because I won regardless, even in the price is right scenario. I, I think he was just saying for future rounds. Yes, if you correct. go over, you lose. Yes, okay. I'm sticking with the price is right theme for the game. Yes. Setting oh, so we have future. to be under. We can't go over. Correct. If you go over, these rules are lose. unbelievable. They're very spontaneous and arbitrary i will give you that <laughs> so i at the end of the day i don't care if i win or lose but whatever the second one is i'm i'm gonna need a you to tell me so i can buy a couple bottles because this is delightful it is dr pepper yes. combined with cherry coke uh with some nice bourbon notes in there like that this is thing cherry is, oak sweet oh cherry oak mm. this was damn uh, ryan like yeah this this is an amazing bourbon. You story. are breaking the mold here, son. And uh, I don't know what to do with this. It, We're it, gonna... makes, it makes you scared, though, for what's Whose going Whose bourbon did you steal for this? That's what I want to know. Are you in any trouble? Blink twice. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to do a review on number nine by itself here because it is gorgeous, Notes. amazing, delicious. It deserves some time on its own. I'm just don't. But are you don't... on number... Oh, oh you're this needs to be eight. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, well, nine, it's yeah, the sorry. I, I yeah. switched mine. Number nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. Yeah. We're, yes. good. Correct. I need, We're good. I need to just minimize the video on your screen. Don't pay attention to me anymore. I need some alone time with this one because it is amazing. Use your words. Use your words. Yeah. No, mm. this is all it, feelings. It, it is Ooh, delicious. That is high proof, it? though. Yeah. Ooh. That's hot. Um, I mean, the nose is fan- just fantastic with that sweet cherry oak. That's, oh, that is- that's what Chuck likes in a bourbon right there. This is absolutely delightful, and I'm going to go 132 per Chuck's like 132.1. I didn't say that. And, and you you offered up your – I was going to go first on this one, but no. you're already gone. All in I, was actually gonna I was still giving Chuck some tasting notes. Like, I'm still getting like, this Chuck delightful – I get a little bit of honey sweet in the, in the palate – a little bit of a spicy. Don't bother because cinnamon finish. Next week we're gonna do our own video of this by itself because it's so freaking good. Don't listen. To yeah, that. I mean, I was gonna say one thirty three. So you're both like right there. I took over. And so it's both... probably one thirty five. I mean, I, that's literally what I was gonna say. I mean, both I, I can't over. We're both up. That means I'm no. closest. I win. That doesn't Neither count wins. though in his Neither rules one wins. of. So I think on press is right. When everyone goes over, guess again. And this time Chuck goes first. I don't think that's how that works in the press, right? But Isn't it? Don't, don't they guess again? I don't think so. Um, okay, you're both losers. Again. I'm great saying one, that and moving 127. on. 127. 128. It's like 129.6. <laughs> <laughs> We're tied. Whoever wins the next one wins. What it is. Whoa. Mm. That's good. Hello, medicinal cherry. Sorry. On to the last one. On to the last one. Yeah, definitely medicinal cherry. That is dark, too, by the way. Yeah. What's the master yeah. of color say on that? Uh, master of color says um, black. Is what Man, master of color says on that one. That's not on the black, color scale. Black is gonna, brown. It's, it's general so chicken. That's deep mahogany. <laughs> this is definitely this is deep mahogany right there. Yeah, definitely dark mahogany. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess it could potentially be darker a little bit, maybe medium mahogany. You get that cherry on the front. I feel like you get a little bit of molasses as well. Burnt brown sugar. Ooh, Ooh. beautiful things. If that ain't a Jack Daniels, I don't know what it is. That is a smoky. Whoa. That is like, to be honest, what it is, is 
if you took an old Forester barrel strength and then ran it through charcoal, that is what you get. Like you getting banana or what's your oh I, yeah what's I'm your tied some, old folk? The banana. I'm getting some major banana notes. In I'm that. almost like this is closer to like nickel fifteen. Or not fifteen because that's hundred. Which, but by this the is way, closer to like a nickel single barrel. What, like what? Okay, you got to you. You went from here to here, and I have nowhere. I have no clue where you brought your nickel in the, into this at all. Chuck, Chuck always brings his nickel in. He just got bragging because of nickel. that smoky charcoal oak. Like that's that's the nickel flavor. This is delightful, Brian. Like this Isn't flight it? is just absolutely amazing. You send this to anybody, they're going to be. Very, very happy and pleasantly surprised. Mm, this has got like a... It, it's almost like you guys are friends. Almost. This is like a Christmas spice, like a mm-hmm. sweet Christmas spice in the palate and finish that. Like, just really nice. I, do. I could I could drink this all day. Like, yeah. well, I would be highly <laughs> inebriated. Yeah. I would be highly inebriated by about 10, 15 a.m. Um, but oh, this is just... Beautiful. That's a contender for whiskey of the year, right there. It is beautiful. All right, I went first both times. Chuck, what's the proof? One forty-one. Wow, I'm gonna go one thirty. Oh, I hate when this happens. Chuck's right. Oh, it's the worst. Chuck wins. Yay! TJ, this was Coy Hill. One hundred forty-two proof. Yeah, this wow. Was, it was this hazmat. Was, this was hazmat level coil. So, okay, so I after the obtainium night and now this. When I think something is super low proof, I just need to assume it's super high proof because I felt like this was lower proof than the previous one. Oh, no. <laughs> no. This, this one heats you up. Mm-hmm. It's like okay. literally so, just so, like... No, no, okay, now, now here's the thing. I will say this one right. I do feel like drinks smoother than the previous... But this one, I mean, your insides are warm. Very warm. After this one. Yeah. Not not you? Okay. Nope. You're, you apparently have unobtainium un- lining your insides. I don't know. I don't know what number one is. I think I know yeah. what number two and three is. Um, two is Jack's uh, Barrel Proof. Three is Coy Hill. I think you're right, Chuck. So what's number one? That's yeah. That is correct. Number one, store pick, single barrel. I don't know if Star Pick is not going to Blue Note. Blue Note. Blue Note. Nice. Interesting. Blue Note. I very much enjoy my Blue Note. It is a good, it is a good. Point. Yeah. You know, and I think, you Blue know, in the fact it's a single barrel comes in at 120.4 proof. Um, I was first sip of this. I was like, dang, what did I just buy? <laughs> like, cause it comes on strong, but yeah, it's like, man, oh, but I kind of like heat. I like sweet. There is a little bit of orange to unpack, like sweet something in there. But this, yeah. So number one was Blue Note. I mean, it was like 40 bucks for 120 single barrel store pick. Again, I I don't think this is everybody's thing, but this particular one, bam. Like if if you like sweet, you like heat. This vanilla sugar with a touch of orange. All right, number two, I admit I'm in a boo-boo. I killed my bottle sending it to you guys. Oh. And I only had this, and I forgot to save the bottle for the video, but I poured the remainder I had. So if you notice, actually, this one is poured a little bit less for you guys. It's only like up to here. Oh, I just um, figured that was a normal yeah. Brian pour. I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah I, I was waiting for that. And <laughs> so I actually killed my Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof. Nice. Rest in peace. Um, rest this in is peace. a good single barrel. Yeah, was a wow. good one. Mm-hmm. I have two on my shelf that I don't think either of are, those are as, no, good as, this one. as good as this one. Yeah, yeah. This I mean, well, I think and so actually it was funny. TJ was like, "Hey, we need to review on this." I'm like, in my head, we already have because mm-hmm. um, we did, we did a review on Jack Shannon's single barrel barrel proof and said, "Get you some." Um, but again, I think the Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. If you get it for that 55, 65 range, that is a get it. Um, one of my stores around here, because it seems like we get some and then they go out for a while, then we get some more. 
Um, when it's on its lower side, the stores around here charge a hundred bucks for Jeez. Jack Daniels single barrel Ooh. barrel proof. So don't pay that. Shop around. I don't know. It's a whole lot better than a lot of those hundred dollar barrel <laughs> bourbons out there. So last one. It's got the dark, delicious. That's so dark. Koi Hill. Koi Hill. Uh, hazmat level coming at 142 proof. They actually had to get a special <laughs> topper for this. I guess they had to redesign their topper because the proof was so high. Technically, you cannot bring alcohol this high a proof. I think believe it's over 140 on, on an airplane. airplane, actually. And so that that did, I guess do some special stuff to do the proof this high. This is the highest proof Jack Daniels has ever produced was in their Koi Hill series. Um, and so some of them were actually below hazmat level. They produced several at the 138-ish to 139.9 level um, that were actually technically not hazmat. And then anything, I believe it was over 140 or at 140 or above was hazmat level. And so I felt very lucky to get 142, which I think was actually the high end of the 750s that they did in the fall. And then just recently, they have they have come out with, um, I think, 375s, yep. only within the state of Tennessee. But some of those are up to, is it 145 or 148? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's way up I'm, there, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. They actually exceed their fall releases of their Koi Hill. And if you can find one of these, buy it. So lucky. Yeah, good luck. Um, I was so happy that I found this. Felt so lucky. Immediately knew what I was getting. I was like, yes, please. And some guy behind me tried to like jump in line of, in front of me to grab this. And I was like, I was not having it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, TJ, link that video above about line jumpers and how I feel about them. Thank you, Brian. And I'm looking forward to the next sample of Koi Hill that I get when we do our best whiskey of the year. Because mm-hmm. um, this is sure definitely this deserving. My, I'm not sure this will make my best of, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, given the amount I have left as well, I'm not sure it'll make my best of. Just saying. I mean, if. And that was where Chuck <clears throat> gets upset. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be number 11 on my list of 10. This is where Brian guaranteed bourbon. Power of bourbon. (laughs) A good night. Good luck. And Brian will not be showing up on any other episodes because he will be killed. Thank you.